147 points, Robinson with 143, Jonathan Langham is third, 135 points, BJ Langham is fourth, 134 points, and James Patrick is fifth with 130 points, only 17 points to break the top five, and here's how they'll line them up.
right now, Michelle. Okay, that one's 
going to win this race. So here we go. Cleanup continuing over in turn number two. This allows the leaders to cool off the tires as much as possible. Patrick with the ability of clean air and quite the lead. Huge rule of early goals. Yeah. When you're out front, you're able to control the pace of the race. And when you have the lead, the one go high, they go low. Stay behind him. You can back off just a little bit, save some tires for a situation like this. As clean up. Still going. I want to pay attention to lap time. I'm paying attention to the gap. I can see lap time. <laughs> Who's got the fastest lap? You win. As safety crews pull away now from the scene. Jay Patrick got the fastest lap on 19.7, lap four. Jonathan's uh, lap four, 19.9. And we'll see if we'll get the one to go sign uh, this time. Jay Latham. Remember the choose lap. Lap three. And it was the 09. Up at 32, make it up there and get in. He, he ain't making it out. Turn He's turning as good a lap as anybody. One to go to the line. Let's see what our leaders elect. Yeah, well, certainly you're going to see Patrick go to the inside. And then he chooses the outside. He was on the outside of that choose car. Uh. Uh, that means he goes to the back and he went over. Turn the lights back on. I think you can let him have the inside. Well, wow, that was interesting. That, 21 laps. Go go
comes up for different winner of the season. He's in the Michelson boot accident and injury lawyers victory lane. Let's sit at track side as Bill Roth is waiting for our winner. Going to be interesting to hear what James Patrick has to say about not all the whole race, but especially the last few laps. What a great victory for this driver out of old deal number 11, James Patrick. Out of the car with a big win, it's James Patrick, number 11. Too old standing in the wind. Wow. I've been watching you race a lot of years, James Patrick, but that had to be the best ever. Fast qualifier, big lead, you gave up the lead, you took it back. Oh yeah, uh, that's pretty much the best the car's ever been since it's got built. Uh, been having clutch issues every race. Uh, even on a practice night out here, we had a clutch issue. I think we got it solved now. It's gonna be like this for the rest of the year. With them. That's a big statement like this for the rest of the year. So I don't even know when the last checkered flag was that you had here at Five Flags. I bet you didn't have that gray hair when it happened. I, it was 2020. Uh, we won a couple of regular series and races, and then the snowball in 20 in the sportsman. So I had raced pretty much since then till now. In addition to the talent and the courage it took to take the lead back there in the last few laps. You go down the back straightaway to lap some guys, to lap them, you make it three wide. Oh yeah, you gotta go when uh, when you got Jonathan in the mirror and Chad's back there too, that's two of the best in this class, so you just gotta go. I was the only place there was, so I went for it. A great victory, the first of the year for this guy, James Patrick, number 11 from Mobile. Got to start six next week. Chad Robinson, bad, fast race car. You took the lead in the last few laps and it didn't happen at the end. Yeah, so it, it wasn't quite our night. It, it was a little free. We missed the setup just a little bit. But, I mean, I say no win, and I had to play with him. I knew he was better than me to get back around me, but I still want to stick it down there. Well, you made it exciting for sure. This thing was so fast two weeks ago. Still that fast, or you got some problems with it? I don't know. It went to sparking out from the hood about the first 10 laps, and then it went away, so it must have cleared it something. So we'll go back and work on it. So quickly, tell me about your dirt track career. Uh, it was rough last weekend, but uh, we made it through it, come out safe, and defeated the lap or so. I don't know that I'm going to race tomorrow. It's been a rough week, so I think I'm going to take off tomorrow. Chad Robinson, he drives anything, and whenever he drives, it's good. Second night in the Andy Shoemaker 32. I know that this whole group here has not been happy with this car this year, and probably not tonight. But I think at least you're on the right track, B.J. Lincoln. Yeah, I like to thank my guys. You know, we work hard in the shop all the time. And racing really is luck, you know. We just had a bad run. I guess we used it up. Maybe years ago. So we're going to have to work hard and get back on the track and run it again. Uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Dewey Miller, uh, Davis Industrial, Bobby Johnson, Vitalize Heating and Air, Johnny's RV, Mako, Smith's Recycling. There's the sponsor list on your wife's shirt there. Yeah, I'm a really color, so. But yeah, we needed a good run, you know. I don't know what else to say. We'll be back to better to, to race for a win with these guys. He's open all the bad luck has gone away as of tonight. Third tonight, the sportsman number eight, P.J. Latham. What's a good night when tempers flare and you have the dramatic